Hey guys, Ken from uh, Veterans Screen Printing. Um, today we're going to be doing a video on um, how to motion your screen. So I use personally, I use Chrome Malone Blue. Um, this is what I first started using when I first started and I haven't changed because I had good results. So I have never changed and that's the reason why I keep on using it still today. So to coat a screen, uh, there's a couple things that you have to do. One is you have to figure out what screen you're gonna be using. Today I'm gonna be using a 160 mesh, uh, which is kind of a universal, everybody likes to use it. Um, it um, allows enough to ink to pass through and um, so yeah everybody pretty much uses it it's kind of a universal um, kind of screen mesh um, one thing you also have to do is you have to make sure that when you've cleaned it you have to make sure that you have degreased it um, it's always good to degrease your screens um, even if they're brand new once you have them degrease them before you start to motion them um, just because when you touch them, it doesn't matter, you, uh, you know, if you just wash your hands or not, you're still going to have some type of grease on your fingers. And if they're old and after you've washed out the motion and scrubbed all the ink out, um, it will still leave some type of uh, chemical with the grease on it. Um, even with the, the textile wash, um, I find it to be a little bit greasy sometimes. So, um, again, Anytime before you have, or before you're about to motion your screens, you should always do a degreaser on them. So once you have the screen that you're gonna be using, um, set you up right here. So once you have the screen that you're gonna be using, um, for instance, I'm gonna be using the 160 um, mesh. There's a couple things that you need. One, you need a scoop coater. Um, they come in different sizes. Just like uh, Emotion, they come in different styles. Uh, some will work with water-based, some will work with only uh, plastic salt ink. Um, I've gotten a couple for free. Um, so I've used this one a couple times. It's also fast exposing um, for textile, which is plastic salt ink. Um, this is what it is. Um, I've used it a couple times, it's not bad. I got it for free from my buddy. Um, but, and again, here's another chroma line type. This is chroma tech. So I've used this one a couple times. Got it from a buddy as well. Uh, but my go-to, like I said, is my chroma line, uh, chroma blue. Um, I've had very, very good results with it, um, from day one. And I like using it, so I stuck with it. Um, so once you have your screen and you've done your degreaser on it and you got your motion you need a scoop coater so on a scoop coater um, I use the, the 16 inch um, so on a scoop coater you have your uh, soft side and you have a, a, a kind of a sharp side I always use the, the rounded edge um, I used to use the sharp side but um, I just found that when I used it a lot of my designs would wash out when I try to wash them out um, so I always use the rounded edge on my scoop coater so once you have it you take your emotion you always want to make sure you stir it up normally what I do is I'll take my emotion when it's in the jug make sure it's secure and I just shake it around um, this is to make sure that everything is mixed around pretty well and then you put it in your coater So you can put as much as you want in there um, and I I like to put uh, more than what I need because I can always just dump it right back in now when doing this you, you do not want to be out in the Sun emotion is uh, UV sensitive and some actually some lights will actually ruin it as well so you want to make sure you're out of the sun and what's good 
about my tent is it doesn't allow UV to go through. And I have some lights in here, but I've been doing it with these lights and I've never had an issue with it. So there you go. So again, I use the rounded tip side on the coder. And I always start with the front side. I call this the front side and then the back side. I always start with the front side and I just put it down at a 45 degree angle. And when I do it, all I do is just bring the coder to it, go to the side. And once I, it goes onto the screen, I just go one subtle swoop up. When I get to the top, I'll come back this way to a vertical, let it go back into the coder and then go up a couple, time, a couple inches, going back and forth to clean it up. I don't get any drips. Then you do the back side. And do it again, 45 degree angle, it's on the screen. I go up, bring it back vertical, go back and forth for a couple times, and then take it off. Now this screen is ready. So all I have to do is let it dry. Depending on if you have a dryer or not, um, this could take a half an hour or it could take up to a couple hours. Um, it also depends if you're outside like I am. I have a dryer, so this will take me about 30 minutes to dry. Once it's dry, then I can burn the screen uh, with the design I'm gonna be using. So again, if you guys have any questions or would like to see other videos, please uh, let us know in the comments. If you like this, give us a thumbs up. Also give us a subscribe, hit that bell. So every time we upload something, you guys can see what we have uploaded. Appreciate it. You guys have a good day.